Thank you for choosing Way 31. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Nikkel Williams. New at 10, it calls for a transparency for the mayor of Audmark, Tennessee. We're uncovering details of an investigation by the Tennessee Comptroller tonight into claims that Mayor Mike McNusson used his office for personal gain. Way 31's Nicole Zedek went to the Audmark City Council meeting tonight to learn more about this investigation and what it means for the city as a whole. It was an intense meeting as city aldermen called out the mayor for unfair treatment and abuse of power. The findings all detailed in this report from the Tennessee Comptroller. And now some aldermen are saying action needs to be done. We, we, we got to get back to where it's transparent. Calls for transparency from Ardmore City Alderman Ken Crossan after a detailed report shows Mayor Mike Magnuson told city employees to do work on private property. And when we do something like this, we're spending the people's money, not our money out of our pocket, but the people's money. The report says the mayor asked city employees to remove storage racks and tools from his personal barn and move truckloads of debris from a private property to a city-owned lot. All of this without the approval of the board or aldermen. It's depressing because I've served with four mayors. We've never been under investigation in our lifetime. And this is a small community, and it hits home hard. The mayor addressed the report himself. I've been under investigation for some activities about the street department. He said he's been transparent with the investigators and said he didn't know he had been doing anything wrong. Mayor Moxon, he, he's done a lot for Ardmore, but he's put us in a cloudy position. Okay. This untimely report comes only five days before the mayor is up for re-election. But the comptroller's office told me political timing had nothing to do with the report. And the office publishes reports as soon as the findings are ready. Everything is uh, going to be worked itself out. Uh, without any uh, criminal activity or anything. This report was sent to the governor's office and the district attorney, but the mayor says the DA won't be pressing charges. Now, I reached out to the DA's office for comment, but he was already out for the day. Reporting in Ardmore, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. Nicole, thanks. Mayor Mag Magnuson has been in office since 2019. On Tuesday's election, he's facing two opponents, Alderman Wayne Harbaugh and former police officer Jonathan Lee Peters.